Hey guys, today I'm filming a makeup tutorial and while I was in the middle of filming that I was like, you know what, I never try primer and I want to do a completely unbiased review of the Nivea Men's Aftershave Balm in Sensitive. This is a recommendation from Nikki Tutorials. She said this is the best primer. I used it once in the past. I don't think I let it get tacky, so I don't think I did it correctly. But I'm going to do it on one half of my face today and see if it really makes any difference at all. I'm going to do my makeup this morning and I'm going to probably be wearing this the entire day and we can check in throughout the day and see if one half of my face's foundation looks any better or holds up any better or longer or sticks better than the other side of my face. So I'm going to test the right side and this side will be completely primer free. I don't want to like try a different primer on this side. FYI, I'm not a big primer fan. So we shall see how this shit works. So I shook it up really well and I'm just going to take a little bit of it and real manly smelling. It's real manly. And I'm just gonna apply it all over my face. From what I understand about this, you need to wait until it gets completely tacky. So it's like sticky to the touch. So you need to rub it in until it is sticky. And then you would apply your foundation on top of that. And I guess the reason that this works and you'll hear this from every other YouTuber out there. Um, apparently the reason that it works is because it has glycerin in it and glycerin works as a good base for foundation because it gets tacky and foundation can stick to it. My hand is definitely no longer like smoothly running over my skin. It's kind of dragging a little bit. So I believe this is what they mean. It's, I would call this tacky. Bow show. Now today for foundation, I'm going to be using the Revlon Color Stay Foundation in the color 110 Ivory. And I'm going to be applying that with, whoa, I put out way too much. I'm going to be applying it with a damp Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, or you can use a beauty blender, same thing. So I've got all of my makeup finished now, and I've got, like I said, the primer on this side, not on this side. So I'm gonna go do stuff today. I'm gonna probably film two or three videos, and I'm going to leave go to town, do a couple of errands, and I will check in throughout the day and let you guys know how these hold up. I'm gonna show you right now, and then we'll show you again in a few hours. Okay guys, it's been a few hours. Um, it's been about four hours since I last checked in. I put my makeup on at about 11.30 this morning and it is 3.30. And so I'm going to see how each side is holding up. So they both look sorta of cakey. I've got a little makeup mishap over here cause I was laying down on my left side. As far as the way that it looks right now, it looks, each side looks the same, if I'm being honest. Like, my nose has separated right here. My nose has separated here. Um, each side looks equally as gross. Yep, they both look exactly the same to me. You can see my skin up close. You can see like how the, how the foundation is separated along the sides of my nose. This is the side with the primer. All right, so I'll try to check in like four hours from now and see if there's a final verdict on if it really makes a difference or if it does not. So I will be back in just a little bit. Okay, so it is the end of the night. It's about 10 o'clock at night. So it's been many, many hours since I put this on. It's been almost 12 hours since I put this on. Let's see if there's any difference. Oh dear. Well, the consensus is my face has never looked worse. Oh dear. This, this is the, probably the worst my makeup has ever looked. Awful. Really bad. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see. Look at this. Look how terrible that looks. Let me turn the ISO down so you can see. 
Oh dear. Look at that. Oh no. So bad. I don't know. I feel like this color stay foundation is weird. Oh, this is for combination oily. I thought I was supposed to be wearing the dry. I'm not sure, but just look at that. So the consensus of the video is that I notice zero difference on the primer side at all. <laughs> it looks exactly the same to me. So either I did something wrong or it was a weird foundation, not quite sure, but I notice zero difference throughout the entirety of the day. So what did you guys think? Have you tried it? Do you love it? Did you notice a difference? Because I am shocked, but zero difference whatsoever. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video. If you like videos like these, please let me know and give this video a thumbs up. Also, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out new videos most every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Also, you can follow me on all my other social media sites if you want to keep up to date with me. Those are Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Periscope, Raw Beauty, Christy on all of them. I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video.